Hey, my friends, it's Stu here. Big Stu here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, today we're going to be doing um, some Legos. I'm talking about Legos. I got a bunch of stuff right here. Uh, so let me just kind of clear it up so we have some room here to see what we got going on. Uh, let me move this down a little bit so we have a little bit more room. Okay. Um, a couple weeks ago I was on spring break and I went to Legoland. So first we're going to be talking about that. Um, I do have March's minifig um, pack here, club. And But first let's talk about some of the things I got like Glenn. Um, Rickheads, I got an Easter duck. And in this series it shows you what's upcoming. There's a dog for um, Valentine's, it's over. Then we got a ghost uh, for Halloween. And we got a reindeer for Christmas. And looks like some elves also for Christmas yes elf one elf two and reindeer so we have three for Christmas last year they put maybe that I guess that's an individual um because they look like individual numbers because last year they put out a Mr. and Mrs. Claus um together and two pack so this one you're getting your elves and your reindeer so but anyways um, last year's I did not get it yet. It is still out there as the Easter Bunny, so I might try to get that next time. Um, but this is a chicken uh, for for Easter. I'll put this together and put it on my desk for Easter. Um, also for my kids, my kids have Duplos, and they do have some regular Legos. And so I picked this up, um, so I have some more little animals. And uh, they're always, seems to be fighting over the animals. I need to get some people too, because I only have a couple people. And, uh, and I have a little doggy, and maybe that's it now. And now I have some farm animals. So, and a cat. A rooster, a cow, a pig, and a cat. So, they will enjoy that very much. Um, I also got a new mini fig. And we're going to open this up. And I believe this is Cowardly Lion. So far, I have been 5 for 5 with what I felt. This is what you're supposed to get. So I got Crayola, I got Draft, those were easy to fill. Benny, Wild Style, of course. Um, Emmett, um, the watermelon guy I got already. And, and then at the bottom, of course, was Ravaz. So two weeks ago in our video, um, we got the Tin Man. And I believe I got the Cowardly Lion because I'm feeling the mane, his mane. So let's see if I'm right on that. Yes, I am right. So, he has a mane and a tail. And I'm not going to put them together now, but these are the pieces for him. He's in another little bag, and then, of course, he has a little tail, too. So, I'll leave him in there, and I will put him together later. And I will show that to you another time. Just because of time. Okay, also... <coughs> They had another one of these. This is a brand new one that just came out. And this is underwater pack. It comes with a shark, a little treasure box, a uh, surfboard, or looks like a shark gun, a little um, beacon, a parrot, uh, looks like a uh, shell with a star in it, some flippers, and um, a fish, and a mat, map, on binoculars. So it's kind of cool little set. So I picked that one up. This was the only one that they added to the series. Um, and this is something brand new too in the extra series. It's stickers. And it's very unique. And it's more or less for, for signs and for stores. And they're just calling it Brick Stickers. It's not giving it a name. Um... This says, okay, it just says Rock Festival in there, but that's one of the stickers. On the back, if you can see it closer, these are five different stickers that you sets you get on there. So it's a lot of stickers and pretty cool. A little Toy Story, uh, uh, toy stickers. I see a little vegetable stand um, stickers, uh, pretzels and donut, little bakery thing that's on the front here. So that's pretty cool. Then here you got some little signs. 
some windows and some little um, signs that you can put your stickers on. Obviously, you got more stickers than what you get here, but I have plenty of these types of pieces. So I'll be able to um, add those into my city and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I hope they do more stickers. I think that's really cool. And, uh, and, um, this was only like $6. And again, these are exclusive with the Lego stores and, and Lego theme parks only. So, or you can order them online. So those are two of the latest additions that I picked up. Another thing I did pick up, I talked about this a little bit, is the new shark. This was only $12. And it can, you can make either a shark or a fish or an octopus. So I picked up two of these and I'm going to have an octopus next and I might down the road buy another shark again but you can only make one at a time in the creator lines but the teeth are really cool and this is a great build I mean it was 230 pieces and it was only like I said $12 and something in change um, at Walmart so I was very happy with this it's a very cool I need some underwater stuff for my Aquaman um, underwater um, um, scene I'm going to build so these sharks are cool and giant octopus is really cool and stuff so I'm really excited about that I think that's one of the best creator things that they've done in a while last thing that they've done that I really liked on that level was the dinosaur way in the back green dinosaur you probably can't even see it but he's way back here and this is a dinosaur that could turn into three different things. I know. So I have it in my back cave. Put that there without messing up. Anything. Anyways. So. So. Um, definitely love the shark. And it was a great build. I love the pieces to it. The eyes. Especially the teeth. I love the mouth and the teeth. Very good. And of course it can twist and turn. And, and bend. So I really like that. It can be straight and twist. And all. So that's really cool. Anyways, so I definitely would recommend that. And it's not that expensive. Okay, so let's see what we got. No idea what the themes are. I guess you can go online and kind of find out what the themes are. The bags need to be a little bit larger because the postcard always seems to get jammed in here for some reason. Okay. Okay, I got a banana sticker. So that's going to be a theme of something. Maybe the theme is zoo. Let's see. Okay, our last po postcard had, you know, different. Because it had Henry IV. And I don't think it was supposed to be Henry V. So this is Minifig Club by Laura Hayden sent this in and last thing was cyborg so i wonder if this is something she built and sent in and she created this cyborg out of the parts that she got last month from the club i need to verify pay attention to that to see if there's anything like that next month with this theme and so the postcards might be tying into the previous month's theme um the the theme is zookeeper trip to the zoo and and that's kind of like a car challenge that they give you. And this was, of course, is a picture of a robot that somebody made last year, last from last month, a cyborg. Well, not a robot, but a cyborg. And uh, so their their body part is different from mine. Mine was a female doctor body with a cyborg arm. So again, they're supposed to always be kind of different, anyways. Bookmark is a girl with a banana. And a monkey, and then it's bananas on this side. So still zoo theme, and we got the same thing: a magnet with a girl, monkey, and bananas. And then our little sticker that we get. Now I have four of these now, and I did find it after last video, and this is what it is. You fill it up. So this will be the fourth one. Then you mail it in, and I think we're going to get a figure of him. That's the minifig um, mascot, I guess you'd say, their theme character. And I'm hoping that's we're going to get that little figure at the end of the year. 
So let's look at the special gold piece. It feels really small. I bet you it's a banana. Just because, yep, just because what it feels like, which is not that thrilling or exciting. Oops. Oh, I see it. I dropped it. Okay. It's safe. And I don't want to go off camera to get it. But anyways, it's a little banana. I've gotten a couple of those already with my Gorilla Grods. Batman series. There's always a banana in there. So, but anyways. Okay. So I have two bags. One accessories. One body parts. So let's look at the body parts first. And see what we got from this club. Okay, we got three heads. Last time we got three heads too. I'll try to remember that too. Uh, we have a female head. We have a guy smirking. It looks like he's sweating a little bit. Like maybe he's a little nervous. Maybe there's a little bit of water on the side. Maybe you can see that. If I hold it steady, it's on the side like he's sweating. And then we have almost like a ninja or, or a spaceman or a villain, someone who's kind of in all red. Could be underneath a racer or it could be a ninja. Okay, then we, whoa, then we only have two body parts. The rest are all legs. And it almost looks like this is a bee. On the, oh, I know what this is. Okay, this is a bee on his chest. Let's see. And this is stuff being pop, pumped into him. And I don't know if you can see that better or not. It's a little red bee. It's Bane. This is the older version of Bane um, with Batman. Last time we got Batman's body, now we got Bane. And I believe before that we got a scarecrow body and then this is either a space it looks like armor I don't know if it's a spaceman I don't think it's like an Iron Man it's not necessarily Iron Man armor it could almost be Falcon if it had to be a superhero armor and stuff it's all gray it wouldn't be like War Machine or anything like that if I'd say it had to be a superhero it could be Falcon but it could just be a space guy too. It's hard to tell. Okay. Um, gray legs. Solid white legs. Solid blue legs. Solid dark blue legs. And oops, I take it back. I got another body. And this looks like the body of Frankenstein. Hold it down here. My fingers are so big. Because he's kind of green there. And I think that's supposed to be like Frankenstein. Because it's under his shirt. I don't know if that could be a scarecrow possibly. A henchman. Two. I don't know. The hands are not green. So this could either be a scarecrow. Or it could be Frankenstein. It's hard to tell. I do have both of those. I'll have to look them up and, and verify them. So, anyways. So, I got that. It's interesting. It's okay. Let's see what... Um, the legs are a little disappointing that there's no printing on them or anything. Last time, um, we had two legs. One had a, a, like a hospital doctor's badge. And the other one had a police officer's uh, badge on the legs. So, let's look at our accessories. Okay, we got a... A helmet. No hair pieces. But I got a, a blue hat with nothing on it. And we got a red hat uh, with nothing on it. I got a magnifying glass. A hatchet. I think it's a little different hatchet than last one. This looks like the same sword I got last time. All gold from Ninjaga. Here's a little beanie cap. Usually for uh, little thieves and burglars, robbers. Usually wear these little beanies in their sets. Got a black plunger um, antenna. I think last time I got a gray one. 
now I got a little um, chalice, a little drinking cup. And I got not quite a bullhorn, but a little piece like this. It's used for guns or used for different things, too. And it's that kind of a piece. Then I got a little ray. Oh, no. Maybe this is supposed to be kind of like when those searches on the ground or something like that. Or a leg to something. And uh, could be an antenna type of a piece, too. Space piece. That's kind of interesting. So that's it for my accessories. Again, to me, nothing thrilling about this. It never is. Uh, again, little single banana. That's a little lame. A brother had gotten a little monkey. I think that would have been cooler. Monkey or the banana as a special thing. Since they kept pushing the monkey and the banana, I think it would have been cooler to, got, to have gotten a little monkey to go with that. Um... I do have one little monkey already in my collection. Maybe I have two. They came with my Jack Sparrow Pirates. But a monkey would be kind of cool. Because I think they're kind of hard to come by. They're not in a lot of sets. Um, so, I'm, again, I'm going to always give this a 6. Just because it's okay. They support the, the community online pretty well. Um, again, for me, it's nothing super thrilling. Nothing I can live without or have to have. And I don't know if I would even continue this. But I wanted to continue it for the year just to see what little package prize I'm going to get at the end of the year. Um, I did also forget to tell you, I went to Legoland and I traded. You can trade figures in Legoland. Disney, you can trade pins. The workers all at Legoland have a badge with tons of little that will hold a bunch of Lego people. So you can go up to them and trade them any Lego people. So I always grab a whole bunch and I'm always looking for different things. One thing I did get was... She's brand new from the Mystery Figs. This is the, uh, I guess you would say, the Apocalypse um, Cat Lady. She was the Cat Lady in the first Lego movie. And this is the same lady, but she's all like Apocalypse-wise. They're all living out in the desert and kind of Apocalypse land, if you've seen the movie. Somebody traded in like a Sinestro, but put a hat on them. So I grabbed, snatched that up pretty quick because I can... Change this to another um, um, character from Sinestro course. course. Um, and then somebody had this weird hat. I don't know if it's from Ninjaga or Ninjas. It's like a snake hat headpiece. And I really thought that was cool. It had little vein, little fangs on it. So I snatched that and I got a little... Business guy, almost looks like a little Lex Luthor, but a little bald-headed business guy. like the suit. I got a little mini little teeny hippie guy. Again, a lot of times I'm looking either for the clothes or I'm looking for a head when I trade or whatever it might be. This I was looking for the body I wanted, the bow tie guy. I think that's pretty cool. These I would swap around heads and pieces and everything. So I won't keep them like I originally got them anyways. So, But it, but I took uh, six. I usually try to take five or six to trade whenever I go to Legoland and uh, and everything. So if I find that I have doubles of a mystery figure or something like that, that's when I'll take it and swap them out. But anyway, so but I was happy to find this one because this is a new figure and I don't need to worry about uh, that figure. Let's see. Uh, it does come with a cat, so, but I do have extra cats, too, but that's her. Anyways, so, still trying to keep this under 20 minutes. I rambled too long, I know. And, uh, but anyway, so, thanks for um, checking out um, the video with me. Um, again, make comments, tell me what you thought about some of the new items. Definitely Legoland, I was really excited about getting this. Um, the sticker pack is probably one of my favorite things. <coughs> and also... Um, like the new shark extra pack that had the uh, underwater theme, which our sea theme, ocean theme, I think was pretty cool that they had. I'm glad to see that they continue that because it's been about six months since we've seen anything new in the extra line um, as far as that goes. Uh, but anyways, so that's it. Our next week's video, I haven't gotten it in yet, but I'm hoping it's going to be Captain Marvel box. Supposed to be a t-shirt, supposed to be two exclusive pops in it oh i'm sorry i'm yawning and uh it's late i'm making this video late at night and uh so 
So hopefully that'll be in next time. And that's what we'll have after that. It'll just be some Legos. I'm way behind on building Legos. My room's gotten really a mess. I had plans a couple of weeks ago at, at uh, spring break to kind of do things. And, and I just got busy doing other things and I got sick. So I really didn't get to spend a lot of time in here. And so I hope to get it to work on it slowly and and work on it. As I do, then I'll start showing you some videos on that. I know I'm constantly telling you that and also, but I still want to tweak my house up here. That's going to be Wayne Manor. So I still need to tweak that, play around with that. When that finally gets done, I think I pretty much got my back cave done about the way I want. But I did find out that there is a new back cave coming out this summer a new version so i'll have to see how cool it is and if it's something really cool i like to build i might pick it up and incorporate it into this back cave but i think i got this back cave pretty much kind of filled up the way i wanted already but i'll have to see the new build it's gonna be a hundred dollars i don't know if i really want to spend a hundred dollars on a new back cave to try to work it in so we'll see i'm um, just to let you know about those who don't have a back cave every couple years they bring out the back cave again so it's been about two years since the last Lego movie, and that's when they had the last Batcave. So this one looks similar to that, but with some changes. And I think it comes with a giant um, uh, clay face. I think it's called Clayface Batcave Clayface Attack or something. And he's going to be in there. But it's probably a similar clay face that they had originally, too. Um, but anyway, so that's just a little quick preview. So you get that on the side. Anyways, thanks, friends, for hanging out with me. I'll catch you later. Um, Big Stew out. And remember, be kind to each other. And a shout-out to all my friends at school. Um, shout-out to my buddy Josh, who's constantly making comments and everything. Joshua, know who, you know who you are. And then Aria, uh, Ariel, you're doing a great job always contacting me, too, in your videos and everything. And, uh, and also, I just want to give you two friends of mine a shout-out. So I'll catch you later. Bye.